Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming and we are back in the infected 8.0 today. It's actually 8.7, I should probably say that. Uh, well, I uh, had to do some craziness over there with the house to get it to work. And uh, one of the things uh, that we definitely need is another mineral extractor. I've got all that. I've got the last piece of copper. And so that means that we need to build another, oh, another mineral extractor. It's just time. It's looking like we're gonna be building right through the middle of winter. And at this point, I'm hoping uh, that I get to a point where I can actually make some planter boxes inside uh, and grow some food because <laughs> I haven't started that yet. That looks so terrible. There we go. That's much better. Much, much better with the flowers. I have a bunch of food right here that I had to... Um, that's why I can't carry anything because I'm still carrying that MRE. Uh, I had to dump some food in this box because I had to make some fuel. At least I thought I did. I guess I didn't um, eat a little bit of protein there. And I'll eat the watermelon because I'll probably find another one. All right. We've got all of that. Uh, we have that. Uh, we need to make another extractor. So let's come out here where there's copper. Not that it matters, we can move it later. And we'll get that going. Uh, I need eight planks, eight nails, 20 screws. Oh no. I thought it was 10 screws, it's 20. Let's go look. We're going to have to move the extractor we have. Aha, see? Another melon. All right, that's okay. We'll do that. We'll move the extractor that we have, which is going to be a huge waste of fuel unless uh, that was part of the 8.7 A, B, C, or D <laughs> update. <laughs> Let's grab all that and shut it off, and we will pick it up. And we'll bring it over here. Yay, it's got fuel. Fantastic. And then we'll be able to make this. All right, let's go get eight planks after we drop all this stuff off. <laughs> all the planks are over there at the house. Uh, and so, yeah. More of those. I don't have room for this. I'm going to have to light up another one of these. Um, that's probably too much wood. I've been using one firewood for each run, and that's really expensive to do. Uh, I think I can store these in here pretty safely. And now that fits. There we go. Uh, I did get quite a bit done on the house, uh, just kind of got stuck because of um, trying to get stairs to work. Is that too heavy? No. There's 10 and 8 more. And the food bench, <laughs> I moved the food bench to remind myself to move the food bench. <laughs> See, is this done yet? There we go. Eventually, of course, we'll be moving uh, all these things over there. 
Uh, although, I might keep this camp here because it's kind of cool. All right. Um, I don't think I need to move the food bench yet, but I put it in the way so I would remember to. Let's go take a look at the build and grab planks so I can put that in there. Hopefully it won't take too long to get copper. So I've got this refilled. I did build another one of these. Thought I saw a bird. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is gonna be a storage room, uh, but probably this winter it's gonna be an emergency. Um, we're having a uh, blizzard duck inside room. So let's go on upstairs. Uh, this is the beginning of the main floor of the house. And, uh, ooh, do I have room for food? I always have room for food. Uh, so it's not going to intrude any further on the lake. I was able to put a um, wall up here, but I wasn't able to put a doorway right here which is crazy. And I don't know if I take these uh, steps out, if I'll be able to put the door there. Uh, but I put a nice wall back there and I think I can repeat it. My roosters are going crazy. Um, no, I'm having the weirdest uh, problems with building. There we go. Now I can't put that there. All right, what does that need? One log? Let's see if this works. in the world. That's the, that was the weirdest thing that ever just, like, where did that come from? <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> well, I guess that's the reason why I can't have a door there, is because I have this awesome thing here. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, um, okay, that's interesting. I get my, yeah, I did. So, uh, yeah, temporary bedroom. And uh, we are going to put in a second bed uh, because um, probably it won't be at that end, though. Uh, because we might have to stay here all night, and uh, if there's a blizzard, then I don't really want to run all the way over there, which is quite far um, to get out of the blizzard. <laughs> I'm not leaving that there, man. <laughs> Uh, little Mr. Piggy has been standing there for quite some time, waiting. I don't have room for him. Well, I only have a couple of pieces of meat left. I probably have room for him. But he's just sitting there, chilling, hanging out, waiting for dinner. <laughs> All right, I came over to get blanks. That was uh, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to take from the piles evenly. <laughs> oh, I needed more. I thought I had to. <laughs> So out here in this area, we'll have the garden and the workshop area. But we gotta build the house first because 
we have to have a place to live. And uh, uh, without that, you know, it's kind of silly. It's pointless. But, I mean, this uh, is capable of being highly defensible uh, because you only need to guard the two ends, as far as I know. There might be an issue with uh, Vambies uh, swimming, but... Um, uh, we won't know that for a while. Oh, thank you. Thank you for giving me copper right away. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, probably that needs more firewood. <laughs> I am going to pick this up and cook it. There we go. Yeah. Let's grab that one. Definitely wasn't the emergency that I felt like it was, but um, I did have to move the extractor, and that was a calculated risk because I wasn't sure if the extractor would keep its fuel. And that's one thing that I do not have yet is fuel and nowhere to store the fish on me either so um i hate to put food in here that i need to eat but we're gonna have to do that in order to get uh fish all right so let's go get the fish and harvest it and then we'll do some horse trading between those two the fish is perfect for the fuel because um, it goes off so quickly and it takes so little space I kind of like uh, fishing down here It'll be a lot more fun once I've got some uh, some light. I wonder if uh, by some weird um, game magic um, I can put light down there. <laughs> Oops. Showing me water. Gotta make sure I have room. We need to go get that loom uh, from the third city. And uh, it's a super long trip. So, yeah. Come here. Don't you want to be friends? Uh, did I uh, just kill my... I did and I didn't get the... F oh, no, I got a trout. I just lost my spear. It just died. <laughs> Here we go. Of course, any food will uh, spoil, but um, this just happens to take the least amount of room. All right, horse trading time. Things don't automatically stack in a sensible way, of course. We'll grab that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. That is uh, four. And that copper should be ready by now. Here we go. Perfect. 
Uh, we'll just take this one over here to use for uh, to use for iron. And now that needs fuel. Where did I put it? Uh, not there. There it is. Uh, thankfully, iron can be made with rocks, so it, this isn't absolutely necessary. It's just automatic, and so you don't have to uh, sit there and sit on it and keep harvesting rocks over and over again. In fact, you can set this thing uh, in here to only take stone, uh, which when you have the big forges um, makes a lot more sense. So what time is it? Already nine o'clock at night. Yikes. You're doing well. There's another one already. Copper is so much easier, um, I find, than iron. And I don't know why. And hopefully that copper uh, extractor is also going to give us coal. Because we're going to need that really soon. It's already... Uh, oh, it's... It's turned October. Uh, it's already really late in the year. And, um, um, right. <laughs> so we're going to build this little building. And this. It's weird that I had a log there. Uh, I really want that little building to encompass that entire uh, area, but I wouldn't be able to put a ceiling on it anyway, so uh, ultimately this is going to be better for an emergency shelter um, in the long run. <laughs> what did I name him? Was it Snortles? I don't remember, but he's got himself caught in the in the uh, animal trap over there. So I'm afraid Snortles is uh, it's probably going to become food. I'm afraid. All right, let's go get some of the wood. Where did I? Oh, over here. Okay, I've got wood uh, laying on the ground all over the forest out here. There we go. And it's super hard to see at this time of day. Uh, there's one. And the other problem, of course, is that it's a hillside. So <laughs> every tree that I cut down is like, is this one going to roll away? And I've had to, a couple of times, I've had to chase <laughs> logs all the way down the hill. <laughs> uh, did that need? Yeah. In fact, let's just take it over there. Save myself running back and forth. Uh, I don't know if I have enough planks, but I probably do. I end up <laughs> I ended up with extra logs in a couple of places there. And what do I need? Three more logs. Oh, it's so dark. Oh my god. Did I run out of logs over here? Oh, boy. We're definitely going to have to stop for the night. Um... Now, as many planks as I can carry, which means dumping this stuff. Yes, go away. Yes, go away. Goodbye, rock. Oh, I brought the nails all the way over here. I really need to get some lights over here. And, uh, 
that, once I get the fire pots going, that'll make all the difference in the world. And thankfully, fire pots are just rocks. So you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about uh, wasting valuable material. Oh boy, it's so dark. I just saw my screen and yeah, we're gonna have to quit for the night. I just looked up at my Streamlabs and it's like pitch black for you guys. So let's go ahead, it's 10 o'clock at night. We'll go ahead and sleep uh, through. The problem with sleeping like this is that uh, you're advancing time and uh, it's very difficult um, to do some of this stuff in the winter time. Need some logs, then we'll have a roof. Then I can grab a forge. Really? I need my cart. <laughs> there we go. It's still super dark, but at least the sun is coming up now. <laughs> But the, it just uh, serves to point out really how important it is uh, to start getting lighting going on uh, as soon as possible because uh, the game itself is super dark at night and um, there's just like, there is nothing that changes that. We'll start those guys going again. Oops, every once in a while that happens. No escapees allowed. There's already one down there. Where is it? Uh, I thought it was down there somewhere. It was somewhere where I couldn't get to it. I don't remember now. It was on a super steep embankment. Maybe it finally fell into the water. <laughs> All right, there's that. All right. And we need a door. Which is eight planks. And uh, then we could go uh, make some fragments, iron fragments, uh, and start putting, uh, start putting pots out here. Here we go. And we'll need to bring over a forge uh, for heat. Uh, I could put in a uh, a coal heater. Uh, I've forgotten how uh, to make one. I thought that was a bird. Uh, we do have two pieces of coal. So let's see. Uh, furniture. No. Others. It is uh, 10 ingots and 10 screws. So that's not too bad. Where the heck is the camp? Oh, there it is. It's a good thing I've got the camp lit. <laughs> so these guys are all going to need uh, firewood, Much of it, many of them. I'm going to go ahead and load them up all the way. And here we go. I did gather some more firewood, but um, not very much. I just cut down one large tree, uh, which 
build uh, that one firewood stand completely. And I had a few uh, bits of firewood left over before I did that. So, um, yeah, filled that one completely. Oops. That mooing deer is just going to have to settle down. <laughs> that was that was weird. <laughs> Put one in there. All right, here we go. And it is October. I have a feeling that we should probably grow. Um, one cucumber and one corn plant, possibly. The problem is that if I do that over here and we're building over there, the fire could go out here. And that would definitely suck. <laughs> so... Because then the plant will die. And they do die. They die instantly. Which is pretty harsh. Um, I was telling you guys last season about um, the, um, the outside garden. That's an interesting bush. Uh, the outside garden out there. Uh where I thought it was going to leave um, like little bits of dried shrub in each box. But it turned out that actually the dry shrub in each box also disappeared. <laughs> Pretty quickly, actually. Uh, while I was uh, um, getting... Uh, restacking all the wood uh, that yeah so that happened <laughs> I wasn't really expecting but that's okay uh, there's not too many rocks left around here oh yeah I need a spear I think that's three sticks and um, that's clay. Here's some rocks. I think that's three sticks of plant fiber and a blade. And it's really distracting. Like, between the lightning uh, in the game and the chickens freaking out. <laughs> Oh, there was one more rock I couldn't carry. That's okay. That and I need plant fiber. Oh, I think there's some over here. There we go. Let's see if I have the recipe right. Uh, I could make a bone spear, uh, but I don't use spears very often, so I don't worry about it too much. Oh, no, no. That does not get the, uh, the job done that I'm trying to accomplish. <laughs> I'm trying to make fire pots. Stop cooking at all. <laughs> All right. Move that down, put the copper away. That's enough for one fire pot so far. I didn't have more somewhere, did I? No. Nope. 
Well, that takes so much longer than I think it's going to. So I end up loading up. What's the matter? Oh, gosh, I'm hungry. Well, Mr. Piggy's days are numbered, I'm afraid. Pretty sure it's not Snortles, so uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I need water. Uh, I've seen a number of people on the Discord uh, struggling with getting water. In the wintertime, uh, once it snows, uh, you can just look at the ground and um, you'll be able to pick up water. The little water thing will be right there. And if your building is on the ground, um, then you'll be able to do it inside. Here we go. Cook up some water. Try to find somebody other than Mr. Snortles to eat. I'd like to eat one of those roosters. Oh, did I not hit him? I hit something else. I hear him running around. There he goes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know where he went down at because I stopped to look for the arrow. I didn't know I hit him. Darn it. <laughs> I think I just lost my first bone arrow. There he is. Fabulous. <laughs> I don't give up so easily on the bone arrows, you see. It's not that they're more expensive to make. I, they're easy to make. Uh, the problem is that um, they're such good arrows that you don't really want to lose them. You want to hang on to them. Uh, oops. Need some room for that meat. And I was thirsty. Wow. I drank almost 70 water just now. Seriously thirsty. <laughs> Haven't seen a raccoon in a few days. I don't know what's going on. That, of course, was not enough. Let's get this stuff out of my bag. I can't think when it's such a mess like that. So there's three fire pots worth. And we've got some meat now. Uh, I hope and I worry <laughs> that I'm not going to be able to... Um, find food in the wintertime, it's super hard. Um, and so I should probably uh, put up some drying racks. Um, and dry some food before it gets to be too late. The problem with drying racks, of course, is that uh, that's where raccoons steal most of the food that they steal. And so that's a problem. And I don't want to lose all that food uh, because that would be a mess. All right, you guys, when we come back tomorrow, we are definitely going to be taking the long trip. And if I can hit the right button, we need to go down here. It is a super long trip 
but we need the loom because we cannot make the bigger backpack without it. And uh, we need to get the rest of the tech. But um, no matter where you end up living, uh, I suppose this is the best one for length, but this is still a super long trip, especially since it's mostly along the ridge of these mountains right here. Um, this is a fairly flat trip. There's mountains and hills, but nothing like going this way. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make this super long trip down to this village right here. Um, we are not going in this cave <laughs> until after we have a headlamp because this cave is massive. Uh, so we will definitely be doing that tomorrow and uh, hopefully making some progress on the house really quickly. I hear a lamb. <laughs> Uh, but that is today's progress report. So we'll pack up and get ready to go. And uh, we will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the content, then click the like button. And as always, have a great day.